In this video, I'll be creating the conduit feature definitions for stormwater gutters, channels, and ditches. All right, so here in bold are the features that I'm going to be creating. I'm going to create one of each type, so one gutter, one ditch, and one channel. I'll start with a gutter and create gutter from start node. So I'll right-click the gutters folder and create a new feature definition. And then we'll give it a description. And the name seed. Now I'm not going to have any trench templates for the gutters, so all of that will be blank. And then the conduit type is going to be a gutter. Again, we're going to be skipping the prototype items and user data extensions. We also will not have the HGL and EGL display for a gutter. So go right to the symbology, and we'll set the centers profile and solid symbologies. Then to create the other gutters, I'll probably just copy this feature and then just make a few slight edits over here in the properties to quickly create those. Next, I'm going to create a ditch feature definition. So I'm going to start with the ditch grass v ditch. So we'll right click and create a new feature definition. Set the description and the name C. Ditches are also not going to have a trench template. And for the conduit type, this is going to be a conduit. So ditches are just open channels, and that's going to be still considered a conduit. And we'll set the shape orientation to invert. Next, I'm going to be setting the symbologies. And lastly, I'll set the HGL and EGL settings. And again, same here, I would copy this feature definition a couple more times to create the remaining ditch feature definitions and just make the changes required. And lastly, I'll make a channel feature definition. Set the description. And then the name seed. I'm going to skip past the trench templates, and for the conduit type, we'll set this to a channel. Right, set the display settings for the HGL and EGL, as well as the symbologies. And for each different material, we'll have a different solid symbology, which is where the material is going to be showing in 3D. All right, so same thing here. I'll copy that feature and then make the changes to create the additional channels. And now I'm going to have all of my conduit feature definitions for channels, culverts, the ditches, the gutters, the pipes, as well as the existing features.